What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode of Mom and Papa Joe. Today on the menu is another simple cook, shaved beef tacos. You're probably asking yourself, what the heck is a shaved beef taco? Well, stick around. You're going to find out. Let's get into it. So, shaved beef tacos today. We're going to be making them out of some beef back ribs, also known as beef finger ribs. Normally, I see them in a complete rack. Here, the rack was cut in two, and they're about four bones each. Not very expensive. These aren't anything fancy. Uh, these were $3.99 a pound, uh, and this is right over five pounds, so pretty healthy. Let's see what they look like. All right, man, so here we are. Just get these a little dried off. And if you don't know, beef back ribs are usually what that ribeye roll sits on. So they're shaved pretty close to leave all that good meat on the ribeye. So there isn't a whole lot of meat on the top side of these bones. Matter of fact, as, uh, as you find them in supermarkets or butcher shops, very often they're going to be uh, shiners, exposed bones, where the meat has just been cut off really closely. Uh, this has a couple of bare spots. So all the meat is in between the bones. All right. And these are pretty nice, man. On this one, I see some really heavy fat that I don't really want. So we're going to be looking at just trying to get some of this out of here without cutting myself. So again, man, that's all fat. I'm not going to be removing the membrane. This is going to be a hot cook. I'm looking to have this membrane protect my meat, help retain some of those juices. A lot of this fat on the bottom is definitely going to render. And I'm breaking out these shears just for sleeper. Lance, my man Lance, <laughs> he said, why do you break out the shears? You're in the backyard. They don't have to be perfect. All right, let's get to seasoning. We're gonna be using just uh, some leftover black pepper, salt. There's a little garlic in there, a 16 mesh. And then I'm gonna to top it with some of my body of complete seasoning. Not a whole lot of salt. This has got enough salt. Come back with that body of. Uh, this is definitely going to bring the flavor. All right, today we're on the expert grill. So we're going to head outside and get that going after a little cleanup. All right, we're rocking our cowboy hardwood man onion garlic, garlic onion briquettes. Uh, and I can already smell them. And I know this is going to be banging. pan in here, catch these oils, make clean up a little easier. Give this another 10 minutes or so, man, and we'll be ready to rock. We've got our elevated grate, legs down. I hope these two racks are gonna fit. We'll have to make them work. We've got our hinges on each side if we need to reload coals. And we're looking to run this someplace around 325 or so. Let's see if we can't get it locked in there. Uh, I'm not coming back out here for another hour and a half or so. All right, folks, we are at an hour and 15 minutes. And uh, this pit has been running much hotter than I wanted. I've choked it down. I guess I just put way too many coals in there. So I haven't been able to bring it down to where I want, so I'm gonna check it early, all right, and see where we are. Look at how it is drawn up. We've now got room in the middle. We're not hanging off of the edges uh, as uh, much as we were earlier. And guys and gals, I don't think we're very far. All right, we're looking at 182. All right, uh, I don't think we're, we're burning or anything. I didn't have any gloves to come out here, but no, underneath looks great. All right, and as hot as we're cooking, I am thinking we're going to finish someplace over 205. I'm going to switch vents, uh, correction, I'm going to switch the uh, the vent to this side now, 
I'm thinking we're going to be finished around an hour and 45 minutes. Hour and 45 minutes, man, and I think uh, we are where we need to be. All right. All right, we're pushing 208 there. Uh, we're probing like butter. Uh, 211. Uh, we're going to pull these. And it's one of those things where the hotter you're cooking, I've said it before, the higher your finished temperature. If I was cooking these at 250, I could probably finish these around 203. But, man, the way the pit was running high temperature, it would take a higher temperature to render this fat. Let's get these off of here. Got my wool gloves on. Underside looks beautiful. We're going to give these. Oh, look at that one just separating right there. We're going to give these a couple of 10 minutes or so, man, to relax. And we'll get to uh, breaking them down. All right, folks, here we are, man. Uh, they've had about 10 good minutes, man, to rest. And I'm telling you, they are absolutely beautiful, man. Quick cook. And I told you up front that this was going to be a pretty no-nonsense cook, man. Oh. So this is what the shave is all about. Oh, I just love this, man. Let me come out of it. So they're called shave tacos because these are just cut off the bone in this manner. Oh, my goodness. All right. Kind of shaved off the bone. And the thing here is that, of course, you get to gnaw on this off camera, of course. Any hunks of fat that you don't want, you just remove. All right, then you come back and you'll just finish chopping up. Nice and nice and warm, man. As large or as small a chunks as you want. We've got a couple of nice hot tortillas, man. Corn, if you prefer flour. And we'll just come back with as much or as little of this shaved. Oh my goodness. Some griddled onions. Very simple, man. I don't want no sauces. I don't want no cheeses. A little cilantro. If you're not in cilantro, you can forego it. And a little red salsa, salsa roja. This is one of my favorite markets. Mm, mm, mm. And folks, that is it. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. So there it is, folks. I'm telling you, this might be the best taco I've ever had. And I've had a million tacos. <laughs> but man, this is special. And it's so simple. Hour and 45 minutes, no spritzing, no flipping, nothing. I just let the pit do what it do, and this is the end result. I want to thank you guys and gals for hanging out with Mom and Papa Joe as usual. Uh, be on the lookout for another video coming very soon. In the meantime, I want you guys to take care of yourselves, love each other, and Mom and I will see you when we see you. Holla!